Hi there, my name is Erin and I am the marketing manager here at Bandwango. Today I am going to go over how to integrate Bandwango elements onto a landing page on your site and show a few examples of current clients and how they have integrated the Bandwango elements onto their sites to create the best user experience possible. The first example I am going to show you is Trumbull County's Italian Food Trail. Now the page that I have pulled up here is the Italian Food Trail subdomain page. The reason that we set up a subdomain page is because Bandwango is a mobile optimized website instead of an app. So this is what we call the staging ground for the past or where the past lives. So as you can see on this subdomain page, we have this header image. Down below, we have what we call the product card and the past description. Then the how it works module down below and then underneath that, the included venues. After a client has completed the client review phase, which is when we send over the subdomain page to be looked over to make sure that all of the venues look good and everything is set up just how the client is expecting it to be, we then send over what we call the HTML code worksheet. This is an example of what that HTML code worksheet will look like. As you can see here, you can see that there is one embed code and then down below, you'll see the specific module elements. So the first one is that product card. The second is the how it works module. And the third is the venue list module. When we are looking at the subdomain page, you can see here that that first one, that product card, the second one being the how it works, and the third one being the venue list. After we send over the worksheet with the codes is when the fun begins. So this is when you can integrate those Bandwango elements onto a landing page of your choice. So in this case, this is Trumbull County's Italian food trail landing page on their website. You can see here that they created their hero image and then implemented our codes down below. So you can see the product card and pass description, how it works module, and then at the bottom of the page, they have the venue list. You can also see that they added in a few of their own elements as well. So they created a map and they also have their prizes on here um, highlighted so people can see the value of the pass. One thing that I like to note that Trumbull County does really well is their linking strategy. So in their navigation, you can find their Italian food trail in many of these options. So things to do, Italian food trail is right here, places to eat have also linked to their Italian food trail. And then they also have this passes. Because Trumbull County has multiple passes with Bandwango, they wanted to set up a landing page that housed both of their passes so that visitors and locals alike could find them in an easy place. So um, in this case, they created little logos for these passes and you can just click in for the Italian food trail. It'll take you right back to that landing page. And for their scavenger hunt, it will take you to that landing page as well, which is also an integrated page here, as you can see. Another example of a Banwango client that has multiple passes on one landing page is Winter Park, Colorado. They have their experience passes page here on their homepage. And if you click sign up, you can go to their experience passes page and see all of their passes that are available. So as you can see, they have a few Banwango passes that you can sign up from from this page. You just pick whichever one you want click sign up and that checkout form will slide out from the right and will be delivered instantly to your phone. So this is also available to you when you have more than one Bandwango pass and is an excellent way to get those users to see all of your passes that you have available. If you are unable to integrate the Bandwango elements via the codes that we send over, it is still an option to direct traffic to this subdomain page. There are a couple reasons that we recommend integrating rather than directing traffic to that subdomain page. The first being we want traffic to be directed to your site and to stay on that site. So with integration, they don't have to leave. They just click this, get your pass here and the checkout form slides out from the right instead of linking to a separate website. The second being that linking strategy that we went over earlier in this video, it is much easier to link to this landing page from your navigation at the top and that way people don't have to leave your site and it makes it a better user experience. I hope you have found this video helpful to understand how to integrate Bandwango elements onto your website. If you have any questions, our Bandwango team is here to help and we look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.